hello welcome back and now let's we are trying to look at why is electricity important in our daily lives why did we study the basics of electricity the circuit principle series parallel and all the other stuff why is that actually important as you know electricity drives almost everything in our daily lives almost every kind of operation that we have in our daily lives depends on power and electricity as you can see where we are now um, on top these are lights all these lights are powered using electricity principles so the principles of wiring these different lights together and making them function as you see them it's all done using the principles of electricity series circuit parallel circuit connecting um, uh, different lamps or loads to the source how do we take care of that all that is done using electricity you see a device that you see on top here this is basically a Wi-Fi router this supplies wireless internet in this area and it also using uh, the principles of electricity so all around us here almost every kind of operation that you meet is about basics of electricity and these principles are very essential and that's why we actually study these principles um, you look at a place like this um, everything is based on electricity so the lights that you see it's all about electricity <clears throat> um, apart from the lighting apart from data communication the internet we get apart from things like um, smoke detectors as you can see here all these are using electricity to operate um, what do we use for cooking for example this is the kitchen and uh, you see here there are many equipment in the kitchen like this is a water heater this is a water heater and I want to show you something if I turn this heater around If I turn this heater around, I want to show you something. I don't know if we'll manage to capture it. Yeah. I want to turn this around. And I want you to read what we have here, actually. You can see the value we have here. So it indicates the current, the power, and the voltage. Voltage is 220. 220 to 240 and power is about 2400 watts you see this device and you see the kind of cable that is connected with if you compare this device which is actually a water um, kettle or water heater if you compare this to another equipment which we have here which we use for heating the bread this equipment here if I turn the back we can again look at what are the values that we see here so we see here again we have 220 to 240 volts but power now is 1800 watts this is 2000, 1800 the other one was up to 2400 and something and you see the type of cable that we have here this cable is actually smaller compared to the cable that we had previously so what does this tell us um, if you have a large amount of power then you have to use a bigger cable I could actually bring this closer so you see the difference why what I'm talking about you see these two cables if I put them together here you can see that the cable on the right hand side no the left hand side cable is bigger than the uh, right hand side cable and this one is for high power uh, compared to the other one the other one is for low amount of power so all these principles are based on principles of basic electricity you look at things like um, um, the oven the amount of power it consumes you look at something like a dishwasher 
the amount of power it consumes. For example, if we look at this dish dishwasher here and uh, we come closer, you can see here it's rated here. So the amount of voltage is 220 to 240, but the power is 1900 watts. So all these equipments that we use in our daily lives utilizes the principles that we study in our basic electricity lessons. And these are very important because if we don't take these to account, if we don't know the principles, then we will not be able to operate the, the devices and equipments correctly, we will not be able to connect them correctly, and sometimes you might find that you are using a cable which is very small, uh, which might even cause fire accidents, because if the cable is too small, in such a way that it can't handle the current that is passing through it, the excess current will be converted into heat, and that heat will actually uh, might cause fire because the conductor will be forced to dissipate a lot of heat which turns into fire and it can burn the entire building. So these are very important things and this is why as we talk about these basics of electricity it's, these principles are very important because if you make a mistake then uh, life is in jeopardy. Thank you for listening. Why? Uh, the lessons of basics of electricity important. You see, in this area where we are now, these are air conditioning systems. So these are systems that actually controls the air within this entire building. So you see huge pipes, very very huge pipes, which control the air fresh. So making sure that the circulation of air within the entire building the entire premise is good and as you can see everywhere we go these are all components that are driven by electricity principles it's all about electricity so controlling different valves uh, different kind of pressure measurement devices you can see here everywhere you see the pressure gauges, the systems that you see here, everything is driven basically based on electricity principles. You see electric signals all over. It's all about electricity. So there are valves, but all these valves are driven by electricity. So electricity is important in all aspects of our lives. You can see here. They are different equipment and all these equipments are basically driven by electricity. They are powered and driven by electricity. So the big tubes that you see that supply fresh air in the building, they are all controlled and managed through electric power. So all the signals, all the controls are driven electrically. So in all the areas of our lives, the air conditioning, the fresh air systems, the air circulation in the building, in these sophisticated places, all are controlled using basics of electricity. So that is why basics of electricity, understanding these principles enables us to actually uh, work with many equipment and many, many devices that are very essential in our daily lives. Hello, here we are at the print shop and uh, the intention is again to tell you the importance of basics of electricity. This is actually a very kind of sophisticated uh, equipment used for 3D printing. It's an old equipment but all using electricity and all through it the principles that involve, are involved here are basically principles of electricity. So. Uh, like now look at this device that is actually working now this is a 3d printer so this device is basically producing uh, a part from plastic and as you can see it's now printing um, but it has many several parts and components as you can see here and it's consuming power, it's using electricity and um, 
because of that, it is important to understand the power that it consumes so that we could have the correct cabling for it. As I mentioned, if you have wrong cabling, then since it consumes a lot of power, it can overheat and even cause fire accident. So this 3D printer from Ultimaker is basically one important equipment that are used technologically today to mass manufacture many components. Um, we have a laser cutter, of course it's not in operation today, but as you can see, you can see nice structures inside. This is another equipment which is also consuming a lot of power and I think you can see here the type of cable that is connected to it. You see the cable is really big, huge, huge type of cable. Why? Because this equipment, this equipment actually consumes large amount of power. And because it consumes large amount of power, the connection, the cable that is connected should be actually very big to handle the current, to handle the power so that it doesn't actually catch fire. So, um, there are different components, different equipments which are used like this is also a laser cutter. Uh, it also utilizes a lot of power and the connection has to be done carefully so that to ensure um, everything works very, very well. So all these are different applications of the basics of electricity. The flow of current, uh, connection to the voltage source, the power rating of these different equipments and devices are vital. Almost everything in our daily lives, all the machinery, the equipments, and many different things that we use in our daily lives utilizes electricity. And because of that, it is very crucial that we understand the basics of electricity, how uh, current flows, or let's say how electricity is actually uh, taken care of when connecting different devices so that these devices uh, have a long life, they stay longer, and uh, we don't cause things like accidents or fire and other things. Thank you for listening.